Um, hi, ha Hamza, uh, and welcome to the Success Mindset Show. This goes out to about 100,000 people over social media, on a mailing list to about 11,000 people, and in a few private networks as well. So it will get viewed, it will get engaged, and, and people will tap into it. So we have met through the One Club. Um, which I'm proud to be an ambassador of, and um, and I've built a relationship with yourself, and hence we're on here now. And without further ado, would you like to introduce yourself, where you are in the world, and what you actually do for people that are listening? Awesome. Thank, thank you for the introduction. Um, yeah, great to connect with you, Gary. Um, I think you're awesome. I think what you're doing is amazing. And there's a lot of things that we can do together to to make that positive impact, which is what, what the One Club is all about. Um, so at the moment, I'm part of the memberships. I'm the master connector. That's what they call me within the One Club. Um, I connect as many people together to collaborate for that positive and social impact. Um, I'm also at the moment at the, with the College of Naturopathic Medicine. I study um, naturopathic medicine to help people reverse their autoimmune conditions or manage the autoimmune conditions. At the moment, I suffer from autoimmune conditions, but not as... You know, my, my situation previously wasn't great. I used to be in the hospital a lot of a lot of times, um, a lot of the days in the week, uh, trying to figure out what the best treatment is to manage my condition. But now I've got to a point where I've combined normal conventional medicine and diet and lifestyle to manage my condition. So now I'm able to work and I'm able to come back. At the same time, I worked on my wealth a little bit as well. So where I am at the moment, I'm very much in the beginning stages, uh, but not, I've, I've, I've dug myself I dug myself a, 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 a kind of hole initially, but now I've come out of that and I'm willing to, you know, do whatever it takes to get back to, you know, beyond what I was before I got sick. So, so yeah, so it's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing, man. And thanks for sharing that. And was one of the reasons that you went into that study because of the fact that you were suffering yourself from that? Yes, exactly. So I had a lot of struggles with um, normal doctors. I, I've seen over 500 doctors and every time I visited the clinic, I had a conversation with them. They said, we don't know what the cause of your condition is and we don't really know where this is going to head. Um, it's called idiopathic thrombocytes phenic purpura. So meaning that idiopathic, the cause is not known. So they basically put me through a trial and error test um, or process where they, you know, I've used like nine different drugs and none of them worked on me. Um, except immunoglobulins, which is like 10,000 people's plasma put together uh, to then in, put, put through a serum um, intravenously uh, through my body and then it increases my platelets. So then I, I survive for another two weeks. And then every two weeks, two to three weeks, I go back and then I try and get the treatment again. So then, but then when I included diet, changed my diet, lifestyle, movement, um, I understood limbic system training, which is like trauma related to balance the endocrine, all of this stuff then help the medicine more. Um, so, yeah, so I'm at a stage where I'm progressing faster than I was initially when I, when I got diagnosed in May 2016. So, yeah. Good man. Good man. You're a winner. You're a winner. Uh, keep going, brother. But listen, what I want to ask you about this here, right, success just getting straight to the point in your role now you are going to and are coming into contact with a lot of successful people right and i'm sure success is, is, means many different things to many different people and and like there's people like joe foster the rebook founder and other people that that are in it that are that have got uh obvious achievements that would 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 would, would indicate their success or certainly point towards it but what i'm interested to know is what is success to you, either personally, professionally, both combined or in life? What is it to you? For me, success is, is a combination of various different things put together. I think once you success for me is understanding what your pillars are. Uh, mm -hmm. So when you understand your pillars in terms of your health, in terms of your, your relationships, um, in terms of your working environment, when you put all of these together and they're, and they're set correctly, um, then I think you can, you can really see within yourself what success means to you and what kind of, mm -hmm. because there's a lot of people that, um, you know, I don't want to speak for other, other people, but in terms of this, I meet a lot of people who think this is success for them or they see a vision and they think that's success without really understanding themselves. I mean, the kind of, the, the steps that took me to understand what is success for me was my, was my health condition. And when my mindset changed in terms of seeing what the world 
uh, what the world is actually is like and that conventional medicine is not what you know they, they've been taught a different thing on in, in in university and in medicine and then they're practicing only through protocols and not really using that personal relationship and that personalized um, treatment to really get to find the cause it kind of showed me that actually success is a combination of different things and i meet on i probably speak to about eight to ten entrepreneurs every single day and everybody's definition of success is different so success for me is, a, is very personalized um it's something that comes from within you really have to understand like if you've got even like it, there could be even slightest of things like if there's one toxic person within your life and um and you're 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 communicating with them quite regularly that could kind of come in the way of you understanding your success and what it means to you because to, to be successful in who you are as a person I think you really have to understand how to say no how to say yes how to say why how to say how how to say when and you have to use these words in the right way for your life to be able to move forward and and find who you are um, and I think you will never find who you are I think finding who you are is a process that you just enjoy eventually and you say oh I'm finding more and more about, about myself because You'll be, um, you know, you'll be outstanding of what you're capable of once you realize, you know, what, 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 how, once you go through the process and, and realize how you're progressing throughout time. If this all makes sense, you know, it's just. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But tell me this here. Tell me this then. Do you feel successful today? I feel successful today in terms of the progress I have made, but I don't feel as successful as my potential. So yeah. um, that's good. That's good. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Like I, I do a lot of studying, uh, Hamza, around um, personal development and particularly Napoleon Hill's work, right? As you can see around me and behind me. Um, <clears throat> long story short, we are never, we, we, we are always capable of more. We're always capable of more because we're constantly learning or we should be constantly learning and, and improving. So therefore, we're capable of more um forever more like you will you're capable of more today than you were yesterday through the eight people that you've met in the last 24 hours who have departed a bit of wisdom or gold or whatever in your life so <clears throat> we're never actually supposed to be content we're <clears throat> be happy have be have experienced joy but never truly be content with what you've um served the world with or what you've achieved and we are supposed to be on perpetual increase forever forever and ever more that's why you see a lot of people when they have you ever seen people that have worked 40 50 years retired do nothing and then two months later they, they, they drop dead yeah you know what exactly. i mean you, you ever see that you know they, they wait till they retire and before they love life and then and then they shut down they're not doing anything they don't go to the gym they don't go to work they don't go socialize and they're just retired now but I'm, I'm, I, I do nothing now guess what everything shuts down then I've seen yeah. that. I've seen that so so many times. You know that's why we're you know we're 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 forever moving. Um, and so that leads me on to this. Over the rest of this year, like this year's being recorded now in March, like at the end of the year, what do you want to have achieved? What will what will what will success have been to you by the end of this year? Like what 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 milestones are you going to hit the rest of this year? What are you going to do? Awesome. So I, I'm, I'm the kind of a person that likes to plan my life um, mm. for, for the next five years or so. And then I know that I probably won't achieve or, or, you know, or even put things, change things or, you know, set different things. And rather than actually doing what I initially achieved, but I like to set out where I'm going and, and head towards that direction. And I think in the next uh, by, by the end of the year, um, I'm looking to release my book in May, um, which is about it's called Obsessive Action, Take Back Your Health. Um, and this is just to it, help people with autoimmune conditions that are uh, find, are struggling to find the right medications or the night, right lifestyle to be able to manage their condition or reverse their condition. So I want to give back to the world. I want to say, look, this, these are the experiences I've gone through. You don't necessarily have you, you don't have to go through a process and experience to be completely cured but you can manage it through the correct way uh, through a combination of normal conventional medicine and um you know naturopathic medicine so i want to release that book i want to be able to um help and as many people because i'm part being part of the one club um and private members club there's lots of new members joining lots of entrepreneurs i want to get people to collaborate and i want to be able to understand what it means to collaborate with somebody correctly and efficiently and also see how other people collaborate and then bring it into myself 
and then say, actually, now that I've learned all of this stuff from great minds, weird, wonderful, amazing minds, um, I want to be able to put something together to then release to the world again. Because I think given value um, in it, to the world, it means more than just learning and then trying to work for somebody or, or building a business. I think for me, the more value I add, the more comes back to me and makes yeah. me the person that I want to be. So by the end of the year, I want to add as much value back to the world as possible. I want to be able to release the book, um, go on a podcast, um, help as many people collaborate as well, and, and just do good and just enjoy my life, you know, because before I, I, I didn't know what enjoyment was. Uh, prior to becoming sick, um, I, I used to enjoy, I used to drink, I used to go out, lots of girlfriends, all of this stuff. Then my mindset shifted. Then I was in a hole and a dark place. I didn't know what to do. Now it's like every day I wake up and I'm like, wow, I've got another day to live. And it's, it's, it's awesome. So I just want to enjoy it to, my, to the fullest. And give, me, give, me, give me three things that you do that, that bring you joy and happiness specifically. Three things is um, I, I'm, I'm quite close to my, my family. Um, I spend time with my family. I think family is the most important thing. Um, and I also do a lot of, um, so there's a lot of relationships. Um, I, the more relationships I build, the better. So I speak to lots of people every day and then build quality relationships. Um, and, th and I guess family and relationships are kind of similar. So I'll give you four, actually. Okay. So the second one, um, the second one is diet and lifestyle. Diet and lifestyle has a major influence of how, you're, how, how much clarity you have, um, how you think, you know, all of this stuff. So diet and lifestyle is really important. And that in includes, includes movement. And, and one more thing I think is reading. Uh, the more you read, um, the better. So I think the more I read, the more I get um, in-depth information. And it just helps me. It just helps me, like, become a better person. Well, perfect. Per you would think this was scripted, but it's not anybody, right? If you're listening to this, uh, Hams, I thought we were coming on for a private conversation. So this is going out public. So this has just been like, <clears throat> like off the cuff, right? So <clears throat> yeah. this isn't scripted. The last question that I wanted to ask you was, give me a couple or three book recommendations. And you just talked there about the fourth thing that brings you joy and happiness and fulfillment and you enjoy doing is reading. So um, a few book recommendations just to drop a bit of gold as we leave. Sure. Um, so what the one of them is um, 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene. The Ooh. reason I say that, there's a lot of people who are, who are quite like, oh, it's, it's, it's a bit dark and it's like, it's a bit this. But you have to understand that you have to go into your dark side to understand who you really are. And then you can give value to the world in the, in the, in the right way. And then sometimes you meet somebody who's, who's kind of, who needs a little bit of help. And then with the right words, the right sentences, you can help them come back on track if you know your dark side. And I think the 48 Laws of Power really makes you understand um, certain different areas of life that we're not really you know, educated on. The second one is Relentless. Um, relentless, I think, is amazing because that also gets into your dark side and really makes you understand who you are as a person. Um, so Who's Relentless... Is, uh, relentless... Um, I've forgotten the name. I actually just recently... Actually, Rupa Aurelia mentioned it to me and recommended it to me. So um, I listen to the ebook let me just search it up for you right now relentless. i think i think your boxing promoter guy eddie hearn's got a book out called relentless <laughs> yeah i think it's um yes tim grover right good 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 so he's pretty good um and also one third book um i would like to say i don't know if i can say this i don't want to come across as a bit you know different but it's obsessive action which will come out in may uh this year because obsessive action take back your health it's is a combination of different things different mindsets all coming together so um if you if you you know it's, it's a revolutionary book for autoimmune people and it's not going to be you know it's it, it's it's something to give back and help those people who are suffering with autoimmune conditions really understand how to get their health back so that's i really want to push that as much as possible is, that's there, is, there, is there any pre-order links for that now out now at the moment no yeah no no okay but you can can follow. Follow. Yeah, you yes. can forward that in due course. Um, so last thing then, where can people connect with you and how, through the One Club, through what, how? Sure, so you can connect with me through the One Club. Um, if you want to contact me through the One Club, we can set up a call and I can potentially invite you to one of our events. You can come on Instagram, at Hamza Hashimi, uh, Facebook, Twitter, everywhere you go is just my full name, Hamza Hashimi. Um, yeah. And you can just connect with me on YouTube, Obsessive Action, of course, um, 
and yeah Perfect, perfect. Listen, couldn't be better. Um, told you it'd be short and snappy. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Reach out to Hamza, join the One Club, um, or check to see if you qualify to join the One Club and 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 see what's what. I'm in it, um, and I'm connected with some amazing people. And you know, it's very, very important in life. In life, it's not. It, 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 you know, it very. It is. It is. It's not just what you know. It's who you know. And and that's not meant in a, an egotistical way. I mean, it's who you know that can support you, that shares your vision, that is like minded, that wants you to win. That the you know, it, there's not there's the, you know this is a this is a collective group of people that really are ambitious, really are uh, have a servant mentality. And if you want to keep your vibration high, you need to be around like minded people. So I'd encourage you to hit me up. I'll introduce you to Hamza or directly whatever works. And uh, let's do this. And thank you, brother. And uh, let's keep supporting one another. Awesome. Thank you so much. Gary, can I just say something before I go? I, I was speaking to my intern um, yesterday and he said, you know, you're, you're networking so much. How are you building the, the, the right kind of connections and how you gain in value? And I said, just like my, yours and my relationship, I said, every person I meet, they're very high caliber people, especially like, you know, like yourself. And if I can add enough value to you, and likewise with other members within the club, eventually you're just going to come back and help me. So when my book's released, you know, all of this oh. stuff, you know, it just the, works together. Consider, consider it done. Consider it done. Awesome. Awesome. So, yeah, so it's awesome. Thank cool. you so much. Thanks for your time.